Hello guys, Grumpy. Welcome back to another Feed the Beast tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a solar panel inside the Minecraft version of Feed the Beast. Um, the Minecraft version is the most difficult. It's going to require a lot of extra machinery to do this, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you all the additional machines you're going to need, and then I'm going to show you how to construct everything. So let's go over this. Here's the additional machines you'll need. You'll need a rolling machine. When I say in addition, I mean as in, in as an addition to your basic machine. So you obviously you're going to want your macerator, uh, your extractor to make rubber, your electric furnace, all that kind of stuff, and a compressor. So here's the machines you'll need on top of all that. You'll need the rolling machine. You'll need an industrial centrifuge. You will need a industrial blast furnace. Um, you'll need a regular blast furnace. Just one. I have two here, but you only need one. And it's optional but highly recommended uh, coke oven. They're very easy to make. And what they do basically is they quadruple your output of coal. So you put coal on one side and you end up getting cold coke. The cold coke has four times the EU value of coal. So in other words, it burns four times longer. So it's highly recommended. You can put your coal inside here and it basically quadruples your coal. So let's go over how to make this first. First thing you'll want is a bunch of... Uh, coke oven brick. I don't know how many you can do the math. Let me see. 9, 18 plus 16, 30, 34, something like that. I don't know. But anyway, to make this, you, uh, you'll you need bricks and sand. That's not too difficult. Bricks, you just cook clay and you'll get bricks. Clay is found in riverbeds and along ocean bottoms. to swim down and you'll see clay. Harvest a bunch of it. You'll probably want two or three or four stacks of it and then bring it back and then uh, you'll make these uh, once you make these bricks these uh, coke oven bricks you put them in a three by three by three cube in other words um, it's three this way three this way and three vertically but leave it hollow so it's a hollow cube so I'm actually out of them let me see if I can find something else down uh, we will use yeah I don't have any good here we go I got some dirt let me go ahead and use that Basically, you'll come along like this. I'm out of that too, but basically, let me see here. We're going to high roll. We're going to do it this way. Use these. But basically, I made a cube and I left it hollow. And so that will make a Coke oven. And once again, put your coal on the left side. Come back later, you get cold Coke. Now what we're going to use that for is the blast furnace. The blast furnace only, as far as I know, only takes two types of fuel. It either takes cold coke or charcoal. So if you don't want to make the cold coke oven or the coke oven, you can just use charcoal. But basically, you put iron in here and fuel. Come back later, and you get steel ingots. As you can see, it's not the fastest recipe in the world. So um, ideally, you might want to build two or three of them. But starting off, you'll be lucky to get one. So let me show you how to make that. Uh, blast furnace bricks are nether bricks and soul sand. The only difficult part is going to be the magma cream. If, if you go to the nether, you're going to find this stuff easy, the soul sand and the nether brick. But to get the magma cream, you need blaze powder. To get blaze powder, you either got to kill a blaze, get the blaze rod and macerate it, you'll get blaze powder. Or optionally, there's these flowers. Um, I believe it's part of thumb crap. I can't remember what the flower is called. It's a special flower. But you harvest it and you'll get blaze powder. Anybody knows the f name of that powder, leave it in the comments and I'd be appreciated. But anyway, um, the next thing you're going to need to make the magma cream is slime balls. Um, you can get those in a swamp biome or optionally you can get them inside of a slime chunk below level 40. So let me show you how to enable slime chunks. Or not enable it, it'll just enable it where you can see where they're at. But you're going to click in to go to your mini map options. Then you're going to go to surface map options. And right at the bottom it says show slime chunk. And you want to make sure that's enabled like that. Now look at my mini map as I toggle that. You see those red squares? Uh, those red squares are where the slime chunks are at. So um, if I actually go to one of these and I was below level 40, um, I'd have a good chance of seeing a slime. So if I wanted to make a harvester for them, I'd, I'd dig down to level 40 inside of a slime chunk, hollow out a room, and then light it up. Nothing will spawn in there except slimes. 
and if I was going to do that too I'd find a cluster of these slime chunks because uh, you're going to increase your odds of getting one like see if, watch where I'm traveling on the mini map you can see two slime chunks side by side that would be better than finding a place where only one of them slime chunks at but anyway that's going to be how you make the blast furnace bricks so once again there's the recipe and so you build these the same way you do the coke ovens um, they're three by three but they're four tall instead of three tall and level two and level three are going to be hollow so once you get enough make your blast furnace and the reason you need the blast furnace because you're going to need steel um, to, in a minute so let's go over next what we're going to need we're going to need um, an industrial blast furnace now this thing right here is very difficult to make let's go over how to make this first um, here's the recipe right here so you need electronic circuits an advanced machine block in the middle induction furnaces I won't go over that you can figure that out just click your way backwards but this cooper nickel heating coil this is not in the recipe book so I'm going to show you how to make this I had to do some research on the internet to figure this out but you'll need four of these you make those in a rolling machine so what you do is here's the recipe you need four copper ingots and four nickel ingots put the nickel in the corners and the uh, copper here 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 and here and that's going to give you three cooper nickel heating coils but once again they're crafted, crafted inside the rolling machine and the rolling machine takes MJ power so as you can see right here I have MJ power I have an electrical engine and then a redstone energy cell the redstone energy cell um, stores MJ basically you don't need all this just make sure you hook an engine up to um, the rolling machine if you want to learn how to make these redstone energy cells I do have a tutorial on that but um, I like them but anyway next thing you're gonna want after you well that's basically how you craft this you can figure it out from there go make these four coils and if you've been playing for a while you know how to make all this other stuff just click backwards if you can if you want but you see how here it has a lot of different recipes make sure you just use the one for advanced circuits and advanced machine blocks because that's the easiest to craft but anyway all that's going to do is make this block right here it's called an industrial blast furnace now this thing needs a uh, a reinforced machine casing and that's what all these blocks are they are reinforced machine casing so you want to put these in a 3 by 3 pattern four tall once again leave level 2 and level 3 hollow so it's made the same way as a blast furnace but you'll put these this block right here out, out in front of it and actually if we click this it shows you the recipe uh, that's what this is right here is for this is the ground level the green dot represents the actual industrial blast furnace block. Uh, the bottom level is going to be three by three. It's going to be solid. The next two levels will be hollow. The red dot represents a hollow space. And finally, there's the top. So if you ever forget the recipe, there it is. Now, the next thing is this thing is going to want um, a lot of energy to do its thing. So let's come over here. I don't have any silicone cells. But basically this thing, let me show you the recipe. Um, here we go. Industrial blast furnace, put two silicone cells in there and you'll get silicone plate. Now down here it says max energy, 128 EU per tick. Um, I don't know why they call it max energy. Basically this thing needs 128 EU per tick. Anything more than that, I believe the machine will explode. Anything less than that, it just won't run. So as if you look right here, it says insufficient energy line. Well, I actually have it hooked to energy. There we go. I got a, a, an MFE. It's fully charged. But the thing is, it's powering this thing right here too. So this thing's not getting a full 120 EU per tick, so it doesn't work at all. But also too, I don't think it has enough silicone cells to finish the process. Let me see. I don't remember. Yeah, it takes two silicone cells. But in addition, you want to make sure it gets a full 128 EU per tick. And so what you're going to want to do, one of two options. Here I have an MFE. If you power it with an MFE, it needs to be a dedicated MFE. In other words, it needs to have the full 128 EU per tick. And so you definitely want to have that like that. And 
The other option is you could replace this with an LV transformer because an LV transformer uh, can put out more energy than a MFE. An MFE only puts out one packet. That packet size is 128, but it only puts out one packet. Whereas the um, media volts transformer puts out four packets of 128 EU per tick. So either way, just make sure this thing gets a full 128 EU per tick. No more, no less. And industrial centrifuge, by the way, the only reason we need this thing is to make silicone cells. So there's only one recipe now, but basically, um, let me show you. Here's the recipe. So you take an industrial centrifuge and you put uh, redstone in there and you'll get silicone cells as a byproduct. There's actually another machine that can make silicone now. We won't go into that, but... Um, just do the industrial centrifuge because it's the easiest when you're first starting off. But it runs off low voltage, so make sure it doesn't get powered directly by an MFE or anything like that because it'll explode. And you can't put transformer upgrades in there. So what you do is you do what I do right here. I have an LV transformer. So what it does, it takes this uh, medium voltage and knocks it down to low voltage. And so once again, like you got the three dots here. That's where you want to make sure the power is connected to. On a transformer, the three dots are the high voltage and the other five sides are outputs for low voltage. So that is how you get the silicone. Uh, once you get silicone, you'll put it in here and that's going to make silicone, uh, I'm sorry, silicone plates. And so that's actually the final ingredient. All this other stuff, I won't go over it. It's very easy. Glass panes, you know how to move to that. Carbon plate, just click backwards and it'll show you. Click backwards, in other words, keep click there and there and there and it's going to show you everything you need um, you go back up to here what else we need you need two regular electronic circuits not advanced just regular electronic circuits and then one generator and that will make you a basic solar panel now once you have the basic solar panel um, the recipes are all the same so if you want to make an advanced solar panel it's the same as it's always been for Greg's tech they just made that very first, the, the basic solar panel is actually the hardest to make, so. Well, I say the hardest to make. It's hardest to, initially it's hard to make them. The, those ultimate ones can be pretty difficult, too. I've never actually made one. I made one, one or two MV1s before, and that's about it. But basically I spam advanced solar panels. But um, I think I covered it all. Let me see and make sure. Oh, here's one thing to mention. I, um. I use the glass fiber cable here. It's this block obviously has to have power, um, but I just run the power from beneath. Um, here's something up to it. It says right here heat capacities. I'm not sure exactly what that's for. It's 1700 Kelvin, I imagine. Um, some recipes call for 1500 or something like that. I'm guessing this thing cools off and then you got to wait for it to heat back up or something. Well, let me see. I believe that's about it. If I forget anything or somebody remind me, um, let me know. Oh, let me show you how to make an industrial centrifuge real quick. Not too difficult. You need an extractor. You'll put refined iron in the corners. You'll want advanced machine blocks on the side. And uh, I believe that's advanced circuits on the top and the bottom. And that will give you the industrial centrifuge. I believe that recipe is the same as always. But anyway, this is Grumpy. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I know it was a lot to cover, but... Um, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of them, please hit that like button. The video gets a lot of likes. lets me know to make more of them. So we'll see you next time. Appreciate you watching.